Hello folks, Jared here and welcome back to Racing Awesome. And first of all, here is today's uh, shameless self-promotion. If you guys are interested in buying any of these, which are currently on sale, feel free to message my Facebook page, but let's get into the video. So first of all, uh, you know, this is kind of an unscripted video, but I just had this idea pop up in my head. So we're gonna roll with it, or try to anyway. So uh, I did uh, upgrade this car just slightly, but I did actually notice something. I am still on uh, Android because uh, for some reason, it always delays the updates on my iPad, so I can uh, I can't even fucking launch the game on that right now. But I am on my uh, phone, and as you guys can see, this icon here it actually uh, lets you upgrade super fast. So you just spend the money, and as you guys can see, you can either finish it or just go to the next part. And this is actually a super efficient way of upgrading it because it does pick out the good parts. For example, you know, uh, fuel system. It does actually say it is uh, Pro B here. Which we can might as well take a look at and see if it's optimal um, but uh, so far it does seem like this is uh, really good so as you guys can see adds 1.5 and you know, honestly i would go for pro c here but still you know pro b is a decent choice as well so i think that the system is going to you know for the most part really speed up the upgrading process which is really cool so i just want to show you guys that uh, other than that this card is pretty much you know maxed out also, this assistant will not help you with, uh, you know, installing conver uh, conversions, and it, what, uh, in it, it will not, you know, uh, force you to put NOS in the car and all that. So that's the thing to keep in mind. But today, what I really want to talk about is the turf events for, uh, you know, this week's turf and my preparation for them. So I'm just gonna, you know, open up the notes here. So. Uh, this week's events are first of all B class, then it's Lamborghini, and then we have front wheel drive. So honestly, the events are not as easy as they were last week, but I think that you know I can still hit the mi minimum. And I'm not exactly sure. I will see here if there's anything on the notes. Uh, 30, okay, 35k minimum. That's high, but uh, I will still attempt to do it uh, mainly because you know. Last week's turf, I was not prepared at all, and it did hurt me, uh, especially in the first two events because I didn't have you know cheap cars to crush. Uh, but this week, I will be prepared pretty much. Um, the first event is probably gonna be the easiest, and that's B class. So let me just show you guys what I have kind of prepared for the B class. There's still a few days to go, by that I mean one. So I will have to build up some stuff. But yeah, I really do uh, enjoy that we have the 5.3 icons back. But I will obviously be running Evos. I still have a bunch of these, uh, which I am willing to, you know, pink slip. I would probably pink slip custom ones as well, such as this one, just because, you know, why not? So there's that. But honestly, like, the Exige is also really good for a B class, and I might just do that, because that's even, uh, you know, faster. But an Evo is still a good choice, and, you know, you can't really go wrong with an Evo for the B class. So I feel like I'll be able to get uh, at least 25k points there, just because... Uh, you know, I want to take it easy for, uh, you know, the, the other day. So maybe I can even go for the double claim, which is not likely at this point, but whatever. Anyways, uh, second of all, we do have Lamborghini, which I'm gonna, you know, try to uh, come to. Uh, come on. There we go. Um, yeah, I have a whole lot of Evos. Actually, that wasn't even like half of them that showed, but uh, let's see what we have. We have a bunch of Stradalis, the Turf one, a Huracan. Okay, I will have to buy some Lamborghinis. Now I'm thinking between, you know, 68 tuning the showroom Gallardo, which I uh, might as well show, which isn't too expensive. You can buy it for RC. So I think that is probably, uh, you know, a really efficient thing just because, you know, uh, RC is super cheap. I am kind of uh, running kind of low. I will have to, in fact, uh, buy some mills, which, you know, as I've said, are cheap, so no worries. Perhaps I can, you know, make a 68 tune for this and you guys can use that as well. Because if I make any tunes myself, I will always share them. And uh, then we have uh, Front Wheel Drive. And I did, in fact, make a tune for a very specific car around a year ago, which did prove to be pretty popular, which is the SRT4, which I do have one of some, uh, somewhere. Plus, if I do uh, actually make like a 56, actually, I'm gonna make a 50 tune, a 1650 tune for the Dodge SRT4. I'll remake it just because the one I did before, you know, the lobbies were changed and uh, it all messed up. It bumped up the rating to uh, 51, uh, I believe. What is it? Come on. Dodge S34. It, it should be here somewhere. It's just, you know, oh my god. It actually, no, here it is. So, by detuning this, I think uh, I will have to uh, not have NOS in the car in order to make it work. But the S34, I do quite like the launch off. 
it is quite consistent and if I tune it to 50 this is really effective it is one of the fastest cards uh, in 1650 that's front wheel drive uh, excluding the front focus and uh, the Scirocco uh, and by front focus I do mean uh, the uh, fucking B class one the tough one the RS500 and of course the DS line which is here somewhere as well yeah this is the fastest uh, front wheel drive car so yeah I'll probably use this one as well even though it's in 67 not a whole lot of people are gonna be running front wheel drive so this is gonna be kind of useless so I'll probably just remake the tune uh, for the SRT4. If you guys want that, let me know and I will post a video of it. I'll probably do it regardless, honestly, just because, you know, I like sharing my tunes. But this one has not, so it will not be very uh, effective. So, actually, I wonder, can we actually do any upgrades here? Or the recommend recommendations I can, okay. So, yeah, that's my game plan. Hopefully the game is fixed, uh, you know, not fixed, but uh, updated on my iPad tomorrow when I wake up so I can, you know, just easily uh, start tuning and preparing because 35, uh, 35k has been done before, but I feel like, you know, with the events not being as easy as they were last week, that I'll, you know, have to push a bit harder. So, uh, you know, yeah, uh, good luck to you all if you are turfing. Because this week's third card is going to be awesome. I can't wait. I'm assuming that we are going uh, going for top 25 here. So, can't wait. Anyways, have a good one. Bye.